Hello everyone, this is Aman Kumar Sharma and this is a new series that I have started, Rise of Nationalism in Europe. This, in this series, basically I will talk about the paintings and the pictures that you can find in your book. So in this series, the first chapter that I have selected is chapter 1, that is Rise of Nationalism in Europe, Class 10, Chapter 1. And this is the first video uh, of first painting. Now, let's start. So, before going through the painting, we must know that why we should study the painting images and pictures. Why these painting pictures, these things are important to study. First, that it enhances the critical thinking of the student. What you understand, what you learn, you can question upon those things. It helps in knowing the background of the chapter more broadly. With the help of a single picture or with the help of a single map, we can easily understand the background of that chapter. And third, of course, it is helpful in gaining marks. So let's go. Okay, the first painting in the first part that we are going to discuss here is the painting prepared by Frederick Soyu in 1848. The name of the painting was Democratic and Social Republic. Let's talk about the important element elements of this painting. The first you can see on your screen on the right hand side there is a picture this picture is very famous and in this picture there are some important elements the first important element that we all can see is the statue of liberty as we all know this statue of liberty now is in america so this statue of liberty is personified as liberty as a female figure so this statue of liberty is a symbol of liberty now the second element that we can find is the long trial of people long queue of people having different flags we can identify with them with the help of different flag like germany like france like switzerland now the third element that we can find here is the shattered remains on the foreground the remaining of the absolute institutions absolute institution means a government or system of rule that has no restraint on the power exercised means a kind of institution which do not have people don't have any control on those institutions they are regarded as absolute institution so here is the long trial of people and after that there is the shattered remain the remains of the absolute institution now the fourth element and the most important element that we can see in this painting is at the top the christ saint and the angels they all are blessing the people from the heaven now Here is the explanation of the painting prepared by Frederick Soryu. The first thing that we find here in this painting is the long trial of the people. In this long trial, we find men and women with all ages and with all social classes marching in a long train and offering homage to the Statue of Liberty. And next to that is the Statue of Liberty depicted as a giver of freedom. It is shown as it is providing freedom to the people. 
and in the one hand she is holding the torch of enlightenment which is helpful in enlightening the people and in the other hand there is a chart on which the rights of a man is written after that we can see here that in this painting the in this long trial we find that usa and switzerland already passed the statue which means by this time they be, they were the nation state which is true also france just reached the statue and is followed by people of germany austria kingdom of two silices lombardy poland england ireland hungary and russia there is a question that how we can identify these people these people can identify through their flags now the shattered remain as we can see the shattered remain is there on the ground so it shows that no more monarchical government would be praised these shattered remains are the remains of absolutist that is monarchy which signifies that no more monarchical form of government is, would be praised next we have the christ and the saints and the angel looking down and it depicts the fraternity among the nation of the world as it is it is a full package it is showing that the angel the chris or chris jesus christ they all are blessing the people and they are also happy they are blessing because the people in the long trial are showing the fraternity among themselves next is the interesting fact it is very interesting to know that when fredrik soryu prepared this painting there was no statue of liberty because statue of liberty was built in 1886 but fredrik soryu prepared this painting in 1848 so he was a kind of utopian vision utopian vision means a society which is very ideal which actually is impossible to exist but yes his vision was utopian and he can we we can say that he was a fortune man fortune man that he knows the future that in future cities countries will get their uh, get their freedom okay so this video i have made for uh, the class 10th students of course uh, and i will make uh, other videos uh, for of this chapter like other paintings and on other pictures also so for further videos subscribe my channel thank you for watching like share share among your friends uh, it it will be beneficial for uh, to them also and comment if you have any question you can comment it in the comment box thank you signing out aman sharma